all you pioneers out there. Commander Kingfish here, and I am back in Satisfactory 1.0. Uh, we are in the process of starting to work towards our objective, and our next objective is build a space elevator, and our next milestone is obstacle clearing. So if we come in here and look at the hub, let's go over here, and we'll take a look right here. So we're waiting for these parts right here. Uh, we managed, uh, we're working on tier two. So we're going to get this first obstacle out of the way or get our obstacle clearing out of the way, which gives us a power saw and it gives us more inventory slots and it gives us the ability to produce uh, solid biofuel, which is gonna be important because we're gonna be setting up uh, burners for that. All right, so let's get out of here. I've already put what we need for the space elevator in uh, the to-do list. So the first thing I want to do is actually let's uh, get into the queues again. Uh, we're going to need lots of limestone or cement. So let's do production. Uh, oh, yeah, there we go. Production. So we need to add a miner, MK1. We're going to need some conveyor belts. So let's put in, oh, maybe 15 of these, 16. And then we're going to need a constructor. Put in one of those. And we're going to need some storage organization. So let's uh, put in a couple of those. And what we're also going to do is we're going to remove this so that we know exactly what we need to get that built down there. The other thing is we're going to need to put some uh, power down to there. And I think what I want to do is maybe set up a power base right over here this area right here we're going to set up biofuel burners I think I got plenty of room because I want to eventually add a conveyor system and constructor system that will produce solid biofuel and that's going to go in right here but for now let's go ahead and we need two reinforced plates so let's run back over here Let's see if we can make our reinforced plates. Uh, reinforced plates. We can make 33 of them. One, two. All right, so that gives us enough to go down here and get our limestone production facility started. And... We should be in plenty of room here, I think, I hope, because uh, I'm going to run it right out. We're going to eventually clear these things out once we get uh, this next obstacle clearing milestone out of the way. But we can come down here. Oh, let's see if we can pet the little guy over here. Uh, I think if we keep petting him, we might be able to befriend him. All right, so let's uh, grab all. Oh, pick up miner. There we go. That's what we wanted to do. All right, so let's go Q, and let's get over to our production, and let's see. Valid placement. Uh, come on. Can't I put that... Uh, you know what I might have to do? Let's do... This. Let's come over here and see if this will... Get this out of the way. I didn't think 
these disappeared. Oh, there it goes. All right. Took a lot more than I thought, but we got it out of there. All right, let's go Q. Let's uh, get this miner up here now. There we go. And let's set up get the hologram so it stays in place. Ah, oh, come on, you big guy. Ah, oh, dang it. All right, let's do this again. And hit H. As long as I can kind of keep from hitting the wrong button, we ought to be in pretty good shape here. All right, so this is pointing out. Looks like this direction, which is just exactly the way we want it to go. Right out in here. All right, so let's go ahead and build this. Uh, the next thing we need to put down is a constructor. So let's get back into our building queue and let's uh, bring up our constructor. Uh, if we can get this lined up. Let's uh, hit uh, H, put that in place there. And let's see if we can nudge this a little closer so we're saving on space. I think that's pretty good right there. Uh, I think if we come over here. Uh, I think if we nudge this over a touch. That's probably not too bad right there, I think. So let's... Uh, that. Uh, let's go ahead and connect it up. We don't have any power down here yet, but that's okay. And now we need to set up a couple of storage containers. So I forgot to put those on the to-do list, but we should have plenty of stuff to make those with. So let's uh, go back to Q. Let's go to our organization. Oh, I did put those on there. All right, perfect. So we should have enough. Uh, let's uh, put that right there. Get H. And let's just move that a little closer, about right there. That. And uh, we're going to put another one right here. I saw the line come up once. Where are you at? Oh, there it is. All right, let's hit H. And then we should be able to nudge that a little bit closer. Down there about like that. Let's drop that in. And let's uh, hold on one moment. I forgot to start my timer, so let me get this going. And we should be able to connect these up right here. And connect that right to there. All right. So what this is going to give us is the ability to produce limestone and it's going to go through the constructor and make our cement and then it'll build up uh, continually put this into storage and then we'll be able to pull it as we need it so the other thing we need to plop in down here and we're going to do it as a temporary so we're going to go ahead and see if we can't build a biomass burner we can, we've got enough for that. Uh, yeah, that's fine right there, I think. That'll work. Because eventually we're gonna put one section for biomass burners in. All right, so let's see if we've got enough for cable. So if we uh, 
Oh, we you know what we need to do. We need to put a post in. All right, we do that. Now let's bring up our cable. We can connect down to that. We can connect over to here. And then we can connect this one over to, to here. All right, so now all we need to do is throw some... Oh, we also need to uh, select a recipe. We need to make concrete. And that'll take limestone. And so the min miner, we don't have to configure. If we go into here, there's no recipe. It's just the miner. It needs, we just, it'll start pulling out limestone. And so now what we need is, see if I got something in my inventory. Uh, I don't have any biomass here, but let's, Yeah, this will run out rather quickly, but oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to hit E. All right. Grab some of these sticks and leaves and stuff, and we'll just throw that in there as a quick temporary. I've already plucked a lot of this from down here. And it'll be a lot better once we can get the uh, power saw, chainsaw, for clearing out. Uh... All right. Well, hopefully that gives us enough to get this thing started. running over here we can slide under here well we can do it that way all right let's just throw what we got into here uh, we have leaves those are going to get consumed rather quickly but we should see limestone starting to come out of there It is binding. There it is. That's coming out. And let's actually let's do it that way. Let's throw the wood in there. It'll last a little longer. So we should be able to go up there and get some biomass, which will last even longer. Because once we get this milestone, then we can actually start uh, producing. Oop. All right. So we've got the limestone process in place. And let's see, did I make? Oh, I do, I have a lot of biomass here. Let's grab one of these and we'll run it down. And then the other thing we need to get going here is let's go ahead and make these leaves. All right, that gives us that. Okay. All right, this will keep the concrete going. We need a hundred for the, the obstacle clearing, and we're also going to need concrete for our space elevator. So if we can get uh, an op a milestone or two done today, and get the space elevator created. That will make me pretty happy, actually. All right, so let's drop this in here, and that will should last quite a bit longer. All right, and then we can we should see. Let's see how quickly this is building out. So we've got 23 already. So we can uh, go ahead and just leave that there for now. All right. So the next thing we need to do. We want to set up our copper wire process. 
which is going to be fairly similar. So if we come up, oh, crap. Uh, damn. Uh, they're going to come after me. I, dang it, where's my zapper? Yeah, okay. All right. I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't expecting those things to be there. All right. Let's see if we can get this one out of the way. Yeah, he's going to produce some more. Did he spawn anything? No. Okay, good. We got that out of there. All right. And let's go grab these over here. And I see another. So we want to do off of this copper mine. We have another copper mine over there, but it's being guarded by one of those uh, spitters or whatever you want to call them. Uh, what we need to do is put a miner up here. And let's go E open. Let's pick up the miner. And let's see if we've got enough supplies on us to go ahead and get our miner built. Uh, production, a miner. Oh, we do. All right. So let's kind of point it out this direction. Let's hit H. And that should go straight out over there. All right, I like that. Let's go ahead and uh, build it. So this is going to be a little bit more complicated. We are going to, what we're going to do is set this up to build copper sheets, wire, and cable. So we need quite a bit of stuff for this. So let me... Uh, get out of here. We need to build a splitter. Uh, I thought we had unlocked that for logistics. Yes. So let's put one of those in. We got enough to build that. Uh, we also need... Uh, well, let's get back into there. We need two smelters. And... So let's get over to production. One, two of those. And we still have plenty of stuff. We need, we actually need four constructors. Actually five constructors, I think, in my layout. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Two, three, four, five. We're going to need to make some iron plates, reinforced iron plates. Uh, we need two more splitters and a merge block. One, two, and a merge block. Okay. And then plenty of organization. I think I've wrote down six of those. One, two, three, six. And it's still just the reinforced plates that we need. And then plenty of conveyor belts. Uh, let's put quite a few of those in. All right, so let's go build the reinfor... Oh, one biomass. Because we're going to also run a line from down below down there. Uh, so we'll set up a biomass machine up here. So let's go Q, biomass, for our power. One of those. And that also means we're going to need uh, plenty of cable. Do that. And probably a couple of three of these. So that gives us the biomass, the p 
power lines and the poles. And so on our to-do list, still, we only need the reinforced plates. Okay. That's actually not bad. So we're going to get this copper facility set up. And then we can kind of work on the rest of this. All right, so let's go E, the reinforced plates. Uh, I needed 10. Let's see if we can get that without depleting some of our other supplies. Oh, we're going to need more iron plates. Uh, all right, we needed 10 of those. All right, that's 10. Do we have stuff to make iron plates? No, let's go grab some iron ingots over here. That's what this is for. And that'll allow us to make some iron plates that we need on our to-do list. Okay, iron plates. Uh, we needed 116. And I think that would give us enough. And we're almost there. Yep, we're going to have enough. Okay. All right, I think that gives us everything that we need. Okay, let's come over here and get finish getting this production facility set up. Oh, might as well grab it while we're here. Is some biomass. And we'll grab another one. Let's see. Oh, I have 30. Let's, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, let's uh, let's see if we can get this uh, built. And you know what? I'm back up to full health. Let's go take this other one out so that we don't end up. All right. And that should have cleared those out as they stuck me as well. So, okay, we've got that. That's taken care of. Okay. All right, so what we want is to put a splitter right here. Q. Let's go down to our logistics. And let's uh, bring this up. So we're going to turn that around there like that. And I think that should just about have that in line. So let's hit H. And we'll come over here. We do. So for space-wise, so we can nudge this fairly tight, like right to there. And then let's build that. And we'll put this down there. All right, so got that in place. All right, so now we need a smelter out in front of this. So let's go Q. And our production, uh, let's bring up our hologram. And we're going to line it up hit H right there. So we've got that lined up here. So we can nudge this one towards that a little bit. Let's put that one in right there. And we're going to configure this for copper. All right. So that's creating our copper. And we're going to run conveyor out of here, right to there. Okay, so now we need to put another smelter in right here, next to it. So 
let's go Q, bring up our smelter again. All right. Let's uh, hit H right there. I think that has that in line. It does. I think that looks pretty good. And we should be able just to run right out of here into there. So let's go ahead and build that. Get our conveyor set up here. And again, this is going to be copper. So let's come over here and configure this. And we want copper ingots out of here. All right. We, let's see, uh, if we put that, uh, where do I want to put it? Again, this is just going to be a temporary thing. Uh, okay. I think we could throw our biomass machine right down here. Go ahead and hit Q, power. And then we'll just put this right in here. Again, this is all just... Our power is kind of a temporary thing for the time. And if we come down here, we can throw this into here. It's not going to use anything until we actually get it hooked up. Uh, we're going to need to put a power pole in. So, one of the things we are going to do is, uh, from this other biomass, we're going to run some power lines up here because this setup is going to take 33 megawatts. And if it's all running at full production, it will blow a fuse because these biomass will only produce 30 megawatts. So, we need another 3 megawatts. And we're not utilizing that much down here. So we should be able to bring some power up from down there as well. So while we're at it, let's go ahead and throw a pole in right here. Let's get it as far over as we can. Right there, I think, will be good. And then if we put a pole right here... And we'll continue to run poles out here as we get things hooked up. So let's go ahead and do this. We can go ahead and get this up and running. At least get it started. Put that over into that pole. And then we will take that and put it in. That's two slots. We'll take this one and put it in. And then we'll take and run. Ooh, you know what? We need. We actually need one more pole. We need to put this in right here. And then we can put the wire or the cable from... All right, so those are hooked up. Yeah, so put that into there, that to there, and then that to there. So those all have power and they are now running. So the other thing we need to do is, I've already got that full, so let's connect that into there. And if we, I think we can run, uh, hopefully I can run from, I think right about there. And let's see if our cable will reach from there over to oh good deal it does all right perfect all right so let's come down here and let's uh jump up here up here and i think we'll just put another hole in right here we should be able to run our cable from down there up to here and then from here over to there all right and let's go ahead and put some more biomass into here 
So not bad. All right, we can drop that. That's still at 200, so that's producing away. And so we are now producing our copper ingots as well as our iron ingots. So we got that much in place. So we're gonna need a lot of cable. And so we can come over here and I need, so I've got my smelters and I wanna put, where did I blow a fuse at? I shouldn't have blown a fuse. Oh, over here. Haha. <laughs> That's where it is. Uh, we ran out of fuel over here for these. Let's uh, go ahead and get... Uh, get some more fuel back into here. I kind of forgot about uh, this running over here. Which one are we hooked into? This one? This one. Yeah. Throw that in there and then there we go. That was our first blown fuse. All right, so that's got everything working again. All right, now we want to lay out a sp sp two splitters, one in front of each of these. So let's get into Q. Let's get into our logistics and let's click splitter. All right, let's back up just a little bit. So I think we are going to need to uh, that's gonna be, no, I think we're fine. Probably something about right there. Let's get H to hold th that in place. What the hell happened now? Oh. Oh, it must be full. That's probably what it is. I think, let me see. All right, well, let's finish this. Things happening all over the place. I think that's pretty good because the other one can go you know what let's just nudge it over just a little bit that'll be fine let's go over that way a little bit because the other one's going to go on the other side so let's put that in right there and then three that'll come in from here into there We are then going to need to uh, put in a constructor up here. You, you, production constructor. Just turned around. All right, so that one's gonna come straight out. Let's uh, just hit the hol hologram. Uh, so I've got this constructor. It will come straight out. I just gotta deal with that rock. And I think, let's hit H right there. That's lined up. So let's nudge this one back towards here and I think that's pretty good okay let's escape all right so this is gonna come straight out from here and that will come into this and we are going to want this one to make wire 
let's set this up to make wire. Alright. We don't have any power to it yet, but that's okay. Alright. So we're not going to use this port here. So we need to put another splitter in right here. So let's go ahead and get that in place. Uh, our uh, logistics. And we'll get that splitter in right here. Uh, let's uh, try to keep it somewhat even. Get H right there. And so that's fairly even right that away. Pretty much in line. Let's go ahead and just put that in right there. All right. We can then put, uh, let's hit three and put our conveyors in right here. Oh, I did it wrong. <laughs> I turned the splitter the wrong way. All right. Well, as Ada would always say, us humans are not perfect. All right. And that's why we can reutilize our resources. All right, hit Q. Uh, conveyor splitter. Let's turn this the right way. There we go. And let's hit H right there, I think. All right, so that's in line there. And let's see if we can just kind of nudge this forward just a little bit. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Now let's try that. Okay, now let's hit three, our conveyor belt. And we can put that right over there. And then we are going to have another constructor right out front here. Uh, let's uh, get Q. And we need uh, production constructor. And that's going to come in from that way. All right. That's approaching on clearance. We want this fairly tight. I think that's as far over as we can bring it. Let's hit H. So it's locked. I think if we just nudge it about right there, I think that's pretty good. Let's build that. Escape, all right. Now we can run our conveyors from here right to here. All right, so we need another constructor and we're gonna have to, for our power, let's run a line over here so it's not in the way. Uh, what if we put it right here? Another one right side by side right here. Okay. We can then connect into this port here to there. And that will give us from there to there, there to there. And then we'll be able to put another line in. Uh, where do we want to put another line in? That's one of the problems. There's only four ports on there, so to get power to the rest of it here. It, uh, oh, you know what? I forgot to set this up. Uh, this one has to be wire. We need to construct this. We want wire right here. There we go. So that is producing wire, wire, and I need another one in over here. All 
All right, let's put another. Put another post in right here so that we can run it out. Uh, so we can run another one out up here, I believe. So we're going to have. Yeah, uh, we're just going to kind of plop this down right here, I think. All right. Now, we do need to connect into this one to there. All right. And then we're going to need to connect that to there. So that leaves us two ports left there which we need to put another constructor in, which is gonna go right about here. Move that over just a little bit. Let's hit H. That's held in place. Then we can kind of nudge this forward as we need it, if I can see it here. You know, that I think that actually looks pretty good and of course though we have a problem uh, this post is in the way let's go ahead and build that and then let's uh, do this we're gonna have to take this post out which is gonna bring everything to a halt but let's go ahead and get uh, get this con Bear belt into here and this is going to produce wire so we're gonna have three constructors producing wire down here all right so now we need to throw all right so we have that let's go ahead and put two oh we're gonna need a post here someplace we got to put the post in first. All right. Uh, let's put that in right there. All right. Let's connect this to there. That one to there. That over to there. Uh, that leaves one left, so we might as well take advantage of it. And then that one could go over to here. Here. All right, so we've got all three of those working. All right. Now, we need to put another constructor in. Well, first off, we want to put a merge block in in front of this one. All right, so let's go to Q and let's get to our logistics and a merge block, which means we need to have, that's our out. So we're gonna have wire coming from there and wire coming from that other one. So let's uh, hit H see how we're lined up if we're lined up fairly well here and you know what we can nudge that forward just a little bit I think that'll be good so let's go ahead and put that in right there three let's hit our conveyor that there and then we're going to come out of here and put that into there all right. We need another constructor over here. And I hope we can get it in. Let's pick this and pick this. Okay, Q. It's production constructor. Ooh. Uh, oh, let's turn it like this, so it's facing the right direction. And let's hit H right there. Is 
that's lined up. And we can, yeah, all right. Let's put that in place. All right, so I have to run power to this constructor, and I only have one more constructor that I need to put in. So, but we are, we need to run from this splitter over here. All right, hit escape. Okay, so I think, let's see if we can pop. All right, so we kind of get a picture here. All right, so we've got our copper ingots splitting into two. Uh, that one up there is going to produce copper sheets. So I got to I got to set that, and I got to run power to it. That's producing wire. That's producing wire, and that's producing wire. Those two right there that are producing wire are going to get merged back together, so that it can go into the cable constructor because that needs plenty of wire to produce cable and so this one is going to be our wire production facility okay so i think we've got everything so far and i'm going to throw another post in right here and i think i hope i got another port left over there no that one's full that one's full that one i still have so we can hook that up and we can hook you up to there and this one is going to make copper sheets which apparently we don't have that recipe yet so this one is just going to sit idle for a time until we can get that recipe. I thought we had that recipe, but I guess not. But we've got it in place, which is good. All right. Uh, I do want to check something, though. We can just look at this constructor. We can make the cable, though, so we do need to get that going. All right. So we need to put another constructor in out in front. All right, let's hit Q. Constructor. Oh, I'm missing materials. Uh, I am missing cable. All right, fine. Let's go back and make some more cable over here. And hopefully we have, I think we do, let's see, cable. Let's go ahead and pound those out. And it looked like we might need some more iron plates too. And so that gives us 34 cable. Uh, let's grab a, some copper ingots or iron ingots so that we can make some more iron plates to make sure we have enough. All right, let's hit E. Iron plates. I was really hoping to get to the space elevator today, but we may not. But we do have our limestone and we will have our copper Copper processing facilities in place. Make sure I'm going the right direction here. Okay, so we need another constructor out here. Let's go ahead and get that in the place. Constructor, all right. Get it as close as we can. Let's go ahead and hit H right there. Uh, yep. 
what happens if we nudge that a little bit that way? How about back this way? That barely straight into there. I think so. I think that'll work. Let's put that in. And then let's hit three. That'll go into there. Escape. And then this recipe is going to be table. Alright. And then this one needs power. And I think we have a power socket right here. that up connect that up all right so we now are producing cable our copper wire so i think the only thing we need to start putting in is storage capacity so i always like to put in two we'll start with just one so let's go q let's get uh uh and then i can add those later Right, something about like that. Let's hit H. Uh, I can't really tell. About over to this side over here. Uh, what happens if we bring this back this way a little bit? Oh, no, I think we need to go back the other way. I think that's better. All right, let's put that right there. If not, then we will rebuild it again. There we go. All right, so we have cable being made and being stored. So let's get out of that. Uh, we need uh, storage for here. So let's go ahead and hit Q again. Let's go ahead and put this one in place. Let's get that. Let's hit H. Lock that up. Uh, I think that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and put that in there. Hopefully it's not too close. And let's hit three. Uh, too steep. All right. Uh, I was afraid of that. All right. So let's hit escape out of there. Let's move this. I think if we move it out a little bit. Let's hit our storage again. Maybe somewhere about right there. Let's hit H. All right, let's try that. And let's see if this will work for us. There, there we go. There. All right, that's making our copper wire. And this one's going to be our copper sheets, but we can't make it yet because we don't have that recipe. But we should have it fairly soon. So let's hit uh, Q for another storage. All right. Come over here next to you. Try to keep these somewhat lined up. Let's hit H, that looks pretty good. So we're in line there. I think that looks pretty good right there, so let's build that. And let's uh, put that down there. All right. So we have our copper smelter going. If we go over here to one of these poles, we can see our consumption, our max consumption is 42. Our capacity is 60. So we have the ability to cover all of our production needs here. So 
Uh, our power is set. And we're just gonna let those start building away. And we should be able to... Uh, this is our cable. Let's see how much we have. All right, let's just grab all of this cable. And let's go ahead and drop that in over here. <clears throat> For our obstacle clearing. Uh, let's go ahead and put those, put that in. We'll grab that. We can actually just make some more limestone here. Let's go ahead and do that, or our concrete. Because we need to get that out of the inventory anyway. It's just in the way. So if we can at least get the obstacle clearing milestone done, and then we'll build the space elevator in the next episode. So, so we should be able to do this. And I should be able to make enough screws as well. And... So we needed uh, 85 more. And we're almost there. There is 80. 85. And let's go ahead and make our screws. We... Uh, I can't tell. I think that's 425 or 424. So we needed about 75 more screws. And we get those built. There we go, I think. All right, let's get a milestone. Get something accomplished today. All right, we'll put that in there. There we go. That's enough of that. And there's enough. Okay. Oop, dang it. I do that every time. Okay, we're ready for launch. Let's go ahead and launch. Milestone reached. Solid biofuel created from any biomass ensures maximum efficiency of biomass burners. To aid in biofuel production, the chainsaw allows for the removal of tougher wood and coral foliage. Additionally, your pocket dimension has been inflated to increase inventory size. Inspirational note, will you be the Fixit employee of the month? You could be if you construct, automate, explore and exploit by eliminating all obstacles to efficiency. This isn't just fun, it's contractually mandated, fun fun fun. Oh, Ada is always good for a laugh. All right, so we got that milestone out of the way. Let's see what we're going to do for our next milestone. Uh, parts assembly. So this one will give us the copper sheeting. Uh, it will give us the assembler and the rotor and these additional parts, which I think we're going to need once we get the uh, space elevator built. So I think that's going to be the next one that we do. So let's go ahead and select that milestone that we have it up there and so that'll be something that we'll work towards the next one so in the next episode i am going to focus on our iron over here getting this into place as we've already got it started and i may change have to change some stuff up but for the most part what we'll end up doing is taking out these storage units and putting probably constructors in their place either that or i might just leave them in there uh, which might be easier because i think these are all completely full so we're going to have a boatload of iron there uh okay so let's kind of take a survey of what we actually got completed today and let's do it like this let's crawl up or climb up not E, I wanted to climb up to here. And did we have another ladder? Thought we had another ladder on here. I guess I can't quite get to the top. 
anyway, so we can see over there that we've got our copper uh, processing going. And here comes the freighter coming back in. I can hear it coming. And we also got uh, limestone production in. Now, at some point, we're probably going to build conveyors for those, for the limestone to get it up here a little bit closer. And I'm sure we're going to be needing to build some conveyors off of these copper facilities over there for our copper sheeting and stuff like that. But this area is going to end up becoming really kind of our basic parts area. We've got plenty of iron here, and I think there's some more iron around the corner. And so with that, we, had, we saw the two copper facilities over, or the two copper mines, or I guess uh, nodes over there where we got the copper building. So we're in pretty good shape. Uh, the other thing that we did get is biomass. So if we come over here and we grab this and we grab this, uh, I think if we come over here, we can now build solid biomass fuel. So if we pound this out, biomass fuel burns a lot longer than the uh, or the solid biofuel burns a lot longer than the biomass. So we can take turn all the biomass into solid biomass fuel. And I believe we got that hatcher so we can create... We've already did some research. And actually, that might be another thing that we can do. Anyway, so let's, let's check that out just before we... Got this built. Did I, uh, nutrients? Let's, uh, let's do the research on this. Let's start the research. There we go. Confirm. This fruit, dubbed the barrel nut after its distinctive color, is compatible with the human digestive system and has been added to the object scanner. Further research is available. Okay. Well, you know what? That means we have the ability now to use that to help heal us, I believe. So if we grab this and bring this out of here, we can put this into our other free hand. So let's grab this and put this over here. And there we go. So now we can turn that up. And so we can eat that. Although that was just kind of a waste right there because we didn't need healing or anything. Okay. Now I think we're about done. Okay. Let me think about this for just a second. Make sure. Yep, we're done. So we did get our limestone in. We got our copper in uh, processing. And we've got our next parts assembly, which will get us the copper sheeting which will allow us to finish out the copper facility processing area and I think that'll keep that good for for a little while okay well if you like this video please hit that thumbs up it really helps out the video and please subscribe that'll really help the channel all right all you pioneers out there keep uh, building away keep those production lines flowing and keep Ada happy and with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.